I'll go over the my new program that actually replaces my remotes. All right, so this is actually a serial to USB connection. So you're actually going to have a serial port and a serial port. You're going to use a USB to serial adapter. The plan is to eventually have a where to go. Um, Android, Windows Phone, iPhone um, programs or apps, whatever you want to call it, and you'd basically just replace the USB to serial adapter with like a serial to um, Bluetooth adapter, and then you just download the app, and then you know you can use your phone now instead of the PC to program the Turbo. So this is still a work in progress where it's going to go. Um, to make this work, so first you're going to click on the drop down menu. If I can find my stupid mouse. My computer's been freezing. Alright, so here as you can see I don't have a COM port, so you click on help, refresh, pops up, click connect, and then read. So now you're going to see all the values. Now when you're looking at these values, the first one is your sensor value. This is what size pressure sensor I have. So you click on 15, 30, 50, 100, whatever you have. I have a 50, so it's a 50. And then you're going to go down to your starting position. This is where you're going to start. So if zero is the exhaust brake, I'm starting at 15% travel. Total travel is 100%. My ending position is going to be 50%. Now when you look at the VGT travel rate, that's how fast you're going to get from that 15% to that 50%. So it's going to take me 30 pounds of pressure to go from here to here. So it's pretty simple. Now I'm still working modulation the idea behind this is you can now use this controller for any turbo you want you just got to program the frequency the minimum duty and the maximum duty and then write it and it's, it works just the same if the um, the values are flipped depending on the turbo you then click invert which is then flip 100 and 0 to 0 and 100 and then you're good so if you need to make any changes like I'm starting at 15% if I want to go to 20% you know or 21 you just click up you click right, now my starting position is 21. It's real simple. Um, another benefit of this is instead of having an exhaust brake that's constantly on, so you know if you have your exhaust brake on now with my current controllers, with uh, the 9802 Dodges or the Universal Kit, once you come to the stop, the brake is still on unless you actually turn the brake off. So with this, you'll actually have an exhaust brake disengage. So you'll be able to click from 5 to 35 miles an hour. So let's say I want to turn off at 25. you got to program how many pulses do you have per mile in your VSS. So if I say I have 1,000 pulses, program 1,000 pulses, you click right. Now my vehicle speed should reflect every 1,000 pulses how many miles I'm going. So this is still a work in progress. It isn't working right, but it will eventually work. The radiator fan, um, so this reads the actual board temperature of the actuator on the turbo. It's probably going to run a little bit higher than your regular temperature that's in your actual coolant. Um, but the idea behind this is you can actually click what you want. So you figure, let's say 205, you would write that. And now once you hit 205 degrees on the turbo, it'll actually flip a relay which will then trigger like a radiator fan. So now if you don't if you have an old mechanical motor, old 12 valve or another motor you're putting this on, you don't have an electric fan but you want one, you can now use this turbo to trigger that electric fan. Now your wastegate, um, this isn't anything to do with the actual VGT, this is the concept behind this. So if you're trying to run compounds and you have a wastegate on that second turbo, you can get like a uh, kind of like a, a vacuum valve solenoid um, and basically control that to then limit the boost that can actually actuate the actuator. So this is kind of like a wastegate controller, not wastegate controller, but more like a turbo controller you'd see like a lot of Hondas and stuff like that where they can actually program how much boost they're having. They're regulating how much pressure is going to that wastegate. So this allows you to kind of do the same thing. Uh, pulse modulation just allows you to run any turbo you want essentially. So if it's a whole set, you have the CAN network already in there. If it's a Garrett or a Borg Warner, you need to have a pulse modulation. You just got to program the frequency and the duty cycle, and then you use the same VGT um, starting in any position that you would for the VGT or the whole set VGT, and it would work. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me for updates on uh, 
the P7100. So it's going to be the same controller. So same thing as the VGT, you get your starting position, your in position, and your travel rate. You just got to program them into it, and then hook up the VGT, well, VGT hook up the uh, P71 actuator once I actually start producing them, and you're good. Now, a really cool aspect of this is I'm working on a monitor mode. So now you're going to see your boost pressure. You're going to see the actual load the turbo's putting out. Your vehicle miles per hour, your turbo RPM, your VGT temp, and then the feedback. You're actually going to see where the turbo's at in its travel. I'm planning on also incorporating like a data log, so you can come over here. You know, you click on like data log and just go drive around or dyno your truck, and you'll be able to see where everything's at. And then you have diagnostic, so you can be able to calibrate the turbo, and be able to do a span test. I'm still working on what else I can try to bring in here. My idea down here is when you do a span test, I'll have a graph. And as that graph travels back and forth, you'll be able to see how much load the turbo is actually putting out between 0 and 100% travel. And this will give you an idea of if the VGT is clogged, if it's in a good zone or a bad zone, or maybe it's getting stuck. So it'll, it'll just give you kind of a better idea for diagnostics. Um, so right now... I'm going to take it for a test drive and kind of show you guys how much more boost I make under this version versus old version. Um, so right now I'm going to keep my 15% and 50% and uh, see how well it works. I'm doing this with uh, shifting and steering with one hand, so it's kind of pain in the butt. So I got it right now in second gear. That's with uh, an HE341VE. That's not compounded. That's a single turbo. I don't know how well you guys can see that.
trying to skip. So like I said, it's uh, still a work in progress, um, but basically once I start making these, it's going to be the only ones I'm making. I got one of the, my original ones left, but I don't plan on making any more of them. So this is pretty much from here on out the next process, it's just making these, uh, making these better. So if you got any questions, please just give me a call or send me an email. Thanks.